really, you know who I'm gonna vote for next time if things keep going the way it's going is that gay dude. No, Mike Pence. <laughs> now, this is the same club, the punchline. This is 15 years ago, and I had just gotten back from, from my infamous uh, South Africa trip. And I came to the punchline just to cheer myself up. It's a safe place where I could tell some jokes. And I find out that this comedian I know, Chris Tucker, who's in all those Rush Hour movies, I find out that Chris is in San Francisco too, at some charity event. So I call him, I'm like, yo, I just saw you at some charity event. I said, I'm doing a show at the Punchline, why don't you come by the club after your event? And he's like, cool, Dave, I thought she was dead, nigga, I'll come by. He said, <laughs> he says, is it okay if I bring some friends? Cause you know, I'm with a lot of people. I go, man, you Chris Tucker. You can bring whatever the fuck you want. And then I show up to the club, late that night, and I walk into the dressing room, and sitting in the dressing room is uh, Gavin Newsom, who at the time was the mayor of San Francisco, but now he's the governor of California. And sitting next to him was Kamala Harris, who at the time was the DA of San Francisco, now she's the senator from California that's front running on the Democratic ticket. And sitting next to her was Al Gore, Fucking weird. <laughs> and sitting next to Al Gore was the guys from Google, Sergey, and I don't know how to say these. All right. <laughs> and it was Chris Tucker and, and Ben Jealous, who at the time was the president of the NAACP, who was all just at this big charity dinner, and, and, and Paul Mooney was drinking scotch. <laughs> and we all was just in there. You know, first I was a little uncomfortable when we started talking and, and we all got along really well. Mm. At some point, uh, Kamala Harris says, she says to me, she goes, you know, a friend of mine is announcing his candidacy for president tomorrow. I went to college with him. I'm like, what? The? I go, Barack Obama? She goes, you've heard of him. I'm like, yo, I just read about this dude. And she goes, yo, yeah, blah, 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 we're talking. She goes, you know what? She says, that's... Let's call him on the phone. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> and she picks the phone up and she dials and she's listening like this. And she goes, ah, this is voicemail. And she gives me the phone, she goes, leave him a message. <laughs> you know, I didn't know what to say. I just said what you say to any black dude that's running for president. You know, stay low, running a zigzag pattern, this kind of shit. <laughs> And then the last thing I say is, you know what, I, I said, sir, well, I really do believe you can do this. Like, man, I'm wishing you luck. Now, next day I wake up and go for coffee at a place called the Embarcadero. It's like an eatery by the sea in San Francisco. And I'm walking to the coffee shop and there's a police line and I can't cross the tape. But then I figure, ah, fuck it, I'm Dave Chappelle. So I go into the thing like this. <laughs> And the police yoke me. These motherfuckers like tackle me immediately. And I see over the police's shoulder, Gavin Newsom. I couldn't remember his name, but I remember last, the night before I had kept teasing him and saying he looked like Christian Bale, the guy from the Batman movies. Uh, so I see him and I can't remember the name, so I'm just like, Batman, help. And he stops, he's like, Dave? And, and, and then he, the police see that the mayor knows me, so they all like, oh, 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 sorry about that. And, and he's like, hey, back up everybody. And he just picks me up, he's like, I'm really sorry about that. I'm like, oh, I'm fine, don't worry about it. And he's like, he's like, listen, I'm here with the Prince, would you like to meet him? I'm like, I know Prince, that's my nigga. And we go around the corner and it was Prince Charles, the Prince of England. <laughs> I didn't know the protocol of meeting royalty and not supposed to touch him. I dapped him up like a nigga. My nigga. Ah. Hugging him and shit like this, dapping him up. Uh, uh, like this. And that nigga was cool too. I was like, it's really fucking weird. 
And then I was just out there in the upside down, uh, not having no TV show, trying to figure life out. And the election was going on in the background. And this guy, Barack Obama, was picking up steam. This motherfucker was killing it. And I had a chance to go to the last debate on the Democratic ticket. And I went. It's me and Chris Tucker sitting in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's the last three candidates. It was Barack Obama, John Edwards, and Hillary Clinton. Now, Obama's a lot taller than Edwards and Clinton, and he had the center podium. And at one point, they're all on stage, and they start fussing, and Obama goes, look, none of us are perfect, like this. And his hands was like this, and there was light shining behind his head, and the other two candidates was looking up at the nigga, and I was sitting in the audience like, this nigga looks like Jesus. <laughs> and I realized in that moment, that I was looking at the next president of the United States. I was certain of it. I couldn't explain it, but I knew what I was seeing. And I got really excited. And I'm not that kind of guy. I said, I gotta meet this motherfucker. So I, I stayed. They were all on stage doing interviews, and I just waited. I was waiting and waiting. And then uh, John Ed was, was done with his interviews first, because everybody knew he wasn't going to win. Uh, <laughs> And I see John Edwards and I said, hey, hey, Senator Edwards, I just want to say hi. And that motherfucker looked at me like, mm. I'm like, ah, fuck you, nigga, you're going to lose anyway. And then he left and then Hillary Clinton just walked by me in one of them Steve Harvey suits. Obama was taking forever. Everybody wanted to talk to him when I knew the media saw exactly what I saw. There was no question about it. That was the guy. And I waited and I waited. And finally, it must have been over an hour and a half, he finishes his last interview. He's like, well, thank you very much. Good talking to you. And he turns around and he, we make eye contact. He sees me. And when he sees me, he looks over, he goes, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> and, and Obama did me the same way I did Prince Charles. He dapped me up. Like, uh, uh. And he like bro hugged me and he pulled me in and, and I'll never forget this. He said in my ear, I got your message. <laughs> Thank you very much, New York City. Good night.